hello and welcome back to the channel and we're back on the car because I was driving down uh, to the bottom of the road yesterday and I had the, the clutch uh, problem where the clutch goes in and then stays down if you see here it's totally gone now and if that ever happens you come in here you check there's the brake fluid also the clutch fluid that sensor so there has been the burst as you can see down there where the like actuator that is the slave actuator strip this off a little bit so we can get a better view on it and we'll be replacing that part on this episode so this is the part we'll be replacing it's up for there was a bit of a, a discount on it now this is the slave cylinder clutch cylinder and it come in at 25 67 after tax so you've got the, the slave is where the clutch is and the master is behind the pedal uh, and you can see that the slave has exploded so we're going to need some brake fluid as well but that piece that you just seen that we'll have a closer look at uh, supposed to look like that and this end has totally exploded so these are fixing points that's where the, the fuel hydraulic fuel goes in and then this you can push that down now this pushes and opens the clutch up when you press that pedal there it'll move this to the lever to the clutch so yeah uh, it's not a cheap make but it's not a Davis make either and I'll show you how to we'll have to this little cap there will drain the air out of it by pumping the clutch and yeah hopefully we'll get it up and running for the price of this which was 25 quid so I've took the air intake out and uh, the turbo the intake outlet you can see Oh, it's actually you can see that but it's actually spun around as well so it's totally snapped looks like there's a bolt missing which I'm going to have to find a bolt uh, and that's the pedal that it pushes it pushes that that sits in there I'm going to give it all a clean up and take this part off there's just two well there's one screw that's missing and there's another one underneath here uh, yeah quite a simple fix and you've got your hydraulic pipe that it's got two clips on under here then clip out and then you can pull the hydraulic out there are the pins they're on the underside then two pins pop pop out and then they'll just pull out that so actually there's only one because one of them's fallen out but they're an 8mm allen key it looks like a 10mm uh, thread uh, and here's the part now this is so I had that higher than that so if we twist it there we go two clips there so do the more difficult one first I might need something different than these I'll do that one first that one comes out set the other one out I'll just watch out for leakages I should pop out and out there we go bit of leakage there and let's clean that up keep, keep this eye up uh, gravity keep whatever's left in there so yeah this is done 150 coming up to 150,000 mile and I bet that's never been changed so just think of all the gear shifting that it's gone through so yeah it's probably just it's good to get a new part in, cheap and very easy to do. So I'm in luck, I actually got a spare bolt there. Uh, so that'll be going in. Maybe what had happened, the bolt had fallen out. The bolt had fallen out and then it had twisted. And then it's it's hit the plate, the clutch plate, at an angle. You see how it's bent there? At an angle and then it, it's, it's snapped. You can see where it snapped there so that, that's my thinking behind it 
and it's actually spun and then it wasn't hitting it right and it's just bent it all out of shape so that's probably why it's stuck in there now and it's not come out maybe because of the pressure as well but yeah that's gone so silly old me got the wrong part totally different profile this is the profile we need so exchanged it uh, 27 pound this one uh, we'll get it all we'll get it all in and then I'll show you how to bleed the system so there's no air in the in the new um, cylinder so I'll show you before we put this I put this in when the cap comes off this tap cover will come off and you take both pins out you put the the fuel end the the clutch and brake fluid uh, nozzle in and you close one of them you just close one and then you pump the clutch until the uh, fluid starts coming out of this hole then you know that all the air has come out and then you secure it by clipping the other one down so here's my new bolt and the bolt above this you have to push back so it sits in this lever uh, and that pushes it forward when you press down the clutch pedal I'm just going to tighten these up now get them finger tight first that top one's finger tight I've put the Allen key one at the top uh, I just think it's going to be a bit easier mil thread 13 mil sockets make sure that's nice and tight tight as I can get it I thought it feel like it's gonna snap it's tight and we've got the 5 mil Allen key on the top really I want to get some leverage on that bit tight in there so I've got 5mm Allen key on this ratchet here oh, can I see it? there's not much room down there to be honest yeah we've got it now the other one obviously fell out because it was loose it hasn't snapped or anything like that. Oh, that'll do. So now it's time to put this in. I've got one clip open. Let's fit that in there. We'll close one clip. The easier one. it's in but it's a bit loose we'll take the tap out tap cover so I've overfilled it took the cover off the tap now we're going to bleed it put a bucket under uh, so clutch pedal let's pump this now See, pushing that back towards. You can see the oil going down. Just pump, keep pumping it. So it gets in the system. So I'll put the lid on. Pumped it round a bit, and it's gone right down. So it's gone in the system a bit. So we'll top it up. Just keep doing that. So 
got the pedals up now. It's got a bit of pressure behind it. Here we go. So come on now, how easy with that? You can do it. You can do it and save yourself some money. And that's what this channel's all about. Save yourself some pennies for the better things in life. Uh, 30 quid that cost. Probably about an hour worth of work. And I'm off. It's working really well. It's brand new. Uh, 149, 196 miles it's done. I don't think it's been changed before. I found another part underneath one once I took the bottom plate off uh, uh, the uh, the cover. What do they call like a shroud, like a, a shroud and the plastic pivot thing that pushed uh, that pedal. And yeah, I'm sure something else will go wrong with it. Uh, being at 149. If you look at my channel you'll see a few things that I've done to the car to make it run a lot better than it did when I got it for 1200 quid so yeah please like and subscribe uh, on your little channel all right take it easy thanks for watching